We shall conquer all those that oppose us. Glory for the Empire! Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to the Mortal Empires campaign. And I will be playing as Emperor Karl Franz, and this will be a modded campaign. I hope you enjoyed the little intro video. They just wanted to get you the, the sort of feel of this campaign. It's going to be a modded campaign, as I mentioned. All the mods will be listed in the description below. Go and check them out, guys. I'm using all sorts of different stuff that I probably can't list them all off the top of my head. There'll also be a little sort of thing on the screen right now, a little swish on the screen, which will show you some of the details and timestamps that you can go to for today's video. This is going to be a passion project. I'm going to put a lot of effort into this campaign. So if you like the sound of that, guys, then by all means, drop a like on this new series. I've never played as the Empire. I have played sort of custom battles and that sort of thing. I've played around with them a little bit, but I've never actually done a campaign on YouTube with them. I think Mortal Empire would be sort of the best campaign to showcase this faction. Without further ado, let's crack on with it, friends. I will actually skip this. Um, basically, it's the, it's, the, it's, the, you know, it's the creepy old dude that's telling you what to do and whatnot. How they play. So, campaign map movement plus five for all characters. My upkeep for Reichsguard and Great Sword is plus uh, is minus ten percent rather, and I get plus two leadership for Karl Franz's army. Mission issued. Engage the enemy. So if I attack this army here from the Empire Successionists, I will gain a thousand in my treasury. This is this army back here. Helmut Ludenhoff. Now, if one of the mods I'm using is unique Altdorf, so you can see Altdorf looks. Very different to what it looks like in vanilla. And the more I upgrade the settlement, the more it will stack up and, and expand this sort of region by here. So we're looking forward to seeing how that works in the campaign. You'll also notice my UI has got like a red tint to it. It's a faction specific one. I quite like the fact that it's got uh, sort of eagle head by here as well. And by here as well for the Empire. So it's very much unique to this faction. Summon the elector counts. I will be using my two, sk two skill points per level up. That I used in my Tomb Kings campaign as well, so I'm using that mod. Here. I'm also using the improved borders mod, so anything that's enemy will be red, anything that's allied will be like a grey green kind of thing, um, and then blue if it's like uh, oh sorry, grey grey if it's neutral, yellow if it's me, red if it's enemy. I think it's blue if it's an ally, so that's how it works. First things first, Altdorf. We're gonna go up to a village. And upgrade and expand that straight away. We're going to have our first battle as well. Emperor Karl Franz, what have we got? We've got our Reichsguard, crossbowmen, handgunners, spearmen, swordsmen, and halberdiers. Also, before we crack on, because my Tomb King's campaign suffered from the unit size, because I had some issues, I've made sure, if I show you what I've got by here, I've got unit size and ultra, and pretty much everything else on high, so we're pretty, pretty good to go. Oh, actually, go back. Did I have blood? I... I don't have blood effects on. Okay, it's on now, so maybe that should take effect. We'll find out. It's not the end of the world. I can probably get a blood mod added anyway if it's not... If it doesn't actually get enabled. So, quick save to start things off. And then a fight battle to commence today's activities. Yeah, this, this is a super exciting campaign. Empire obviously most like a traditional Total War faction compared to the other unique factions of the games. You know, you're not using dragons and lizards and dead people and dwarves. You're using actual men with, like, swords and shields and stuff. So there's that. But, you know, you have good cavalry like Reichsguard as well. There's a lot of stuff going for them. Okay, I'm thinking what we'll do here. Infantry is going to be grouped up. My missiles can go front line. Group 2, Group 3, Regs Guard. Just gonna walk forward with my men. I want my Regs Guard to walk forward there as well. And let's actually take a moment. That's the wrong button. To take it all in. The men of the Empire here marching towards the deadly Empire successionists. Trying to overthrow us. Trying to overthrow Karl Franz. Who do they think they are? But here we go. Well armoured, well equipped, brave men of Reichland, marching forward, trying to vanquish our enemies here on the fields, and we'll soak them in blood. That is where we stand right now in this campaign. So, 
as we march forward. We've got our right guard outflanking them here. I'm probably going to try and aim. Oh, look, it's the other mod I'm using, the smoke effect mod. Smoke effect mod in effect. Oh, that trail's going to piss me off, actually. Can we, can we actually get that? I don't know if we let, let us do it, actually. Uh, trails. I can't remember where it is on here. Do, 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 do. Am I on the wrong right thing? I don't think I am. Oh, God. That trail is going to annoy me otherwise. Might be on game settings. Projectile trails, here we go. Get rid of that rubbish. I don't want projectile trails. They quite annoy me. Back to normal. Reichsguard, time to attack. Get on those crossbowmen. Two of you. I want you to shoot. Matter of fact, you can shoot the flank for me there. You can shoot there. Carl is going to go straight for Helmut Lutenhoff. Oh. Get in there on him. We're going to have Reich's card epic charge in a moment, guys. As we fire away into the swordsman here, I think we are catching some of our men. Unfortunately. I want to get this charge in effect here. Let's zoom in onto this. As they turn around, Reich's guard charging them down the hill. And you can see... Oh, look! <laughs> oh, look at them fly! Look at them fly! That was epic. That charge. And that first horse just sort of just did a little gallop. I think it was the Grand National. Just totally charged into them there. Taking them out completely. And if you didn't... If you haven't dropped a like on this video yet, just do it for that little horse that just did a little whoop. Jump into them there. We're going to let the Rex Guard clear up by here as we continue to attack him. My spear are actually losing against their spears here. Right, my Reg Scar's probably going to have to help out. Let's get them back in. Going to reform in the centre here. Going to get my hand gunners up on the flank. Going to get my spears to come back round. Those spears are routed in, so I'm going to let my crossbowmen charge them for now. Reg Scar's formed up. I think we're going to go for the swordsman on the, flank, on the right flank by here. We charge in. Reichsguard charging in. Reichsguard! Oh! Yeah, there is blood. There is blood. I might actually get a blood mod, though, because I think blood mods actually make it more realistic than what you actually get. Winning. Reichsguard winning, definitely. What's their stats like? Their leadership is actually quite high right now. Hit points are too bad. I've only lost one horse so far. Let's actually bring him out now, because we're going to might get some friendly fire otherwise. I'm going to let my crossbow and just keep shooting the spearmen that are running away. How's Carl doing? How many kills has Carl got? Probably not many. He's got 29, it's not bad. You guys could just keep shooting for me. Oh, that smoke effect is beautiful. That smoke effect is so sexy. Look at it. It's like, it's like Empire Total War when you use Darth Mod. It's that good. Right, my Rex Guard are going to be charging him away. Get my guns to turn around. Change target. I'm going to let them mow them down. Try and get some early experience in this campaign for me. The rest of my men are just holding for now. We're not really doing much. Actually, I might turn you back around. What we got them down to. We've won the battle. Obviously, we've won the battle. Right, Reichsguard, chase him down. I don't want you to shoot my own men. Okay. Chase them down. This is where cavalry is useful. I'm going to triple speed this, guys. going to just triple speed this. What I'm going to try and do is try and get as much experience early on as I can in this campaign. Now, it did give me an initial kind of rating of easy this campaign, but I don't think it will be easy. We must make sure that we annihilate every unit that we can in this battle, because I don't want to have a follow-up battle if I can help it. It just makes it harder to take the settlement, I think. So if I can if I can take this army out now, take this lord out now as well, we've got less to do in a follow-up battle, and we could just steamroller this whole province. What we got left? Got one spearman unit left. Let's, let's just take that guy out. You guys still trying to take out the Lord? He's almost dead as well, this Lord. And he's dead. There we go. You're damn right that was decisive. We only lost 88. 
226 kills. Reichsguard. Uh, 92 for crossbowman, not bad. 30 for Carl Franz. He was against the Lord for most of it, so that's to be expected. 66 for my hand gunners, did quite well with them. Infantry not really doing that well as far as kills, although they outperformed the enemy. I want to try and upgrade them as quickly as I can. Try and get the shielded variation of the spearmen. Okay, I could replenish. It would give me a fair bit. Which I will do. I will replenish early on here. Sigma compels us on. Actually survive with one unit here. Siegfried Bibber. Mission was successful. I gained a thousand just for doing that. I've gained another issue, another mission rather. Take Grunberg, which is what we're going to do anyway to get another thousand. And I've killed the Lord. I've really weakened Grunberg. Now, let's be cheeky. Let's start off with being cheeky. Actually, I can't be cheeky. I don't think. Yeah, I cannot negotiate with this faction. Ah, it's because it's story based, that's why. I was going to be cheeky and go, you know what? We'll actually offer a confederation early on. Just to, just to save me wasting men around here, but it's fine. Not a problem at all. Okay, we've got the two skill point mod, which we're using. I said earlier on that we are using this mod from Tomb Kings. I enjoyed it a lot in Tomb Kings. I'm going to use it again with this campaign. So I'm going to go for the character's leadership early on, and I'm going to go for the campaign map movement early on, just to get those two things out of the way. Now, with this army, I can probably take Grunberg already. we only got five units there. Do you know what? We definitely can take Grunberg. They will have reinforcements, of course. I could auto. I'm not inclined to auto. I'm going to quick save here. Only because I might lose those halberdiers. I don't really want to lose a good unit early on. I won't try and keep... Cause I think it's halberdiers and the Reichsguard that you start off with with Karl Franz. Of course, Reichsguard have played a massive role already so far with over 200 kills in that first battle. I want to try and keep them for the entirety of the campaign. A similar scenario in the Tomb Kings campaign I recently finished was that I was trying to keep my Tomb Scorpions alive for the entirety of the campaign if I could possibly have done that and unfortunately that was not to be the case right start battle I'm deploying with my infantry right by here because I want to try and take out these crossbows oh, if, I, if I knew the crossbow I didn't know they were crossbow I could have probably used my other troops right by the way also as this campaign goes on I'm happy to add more mods so let me know if there's any more mods you would like to see me add to the campaign i'm not going to use steel faith though i'm going to do a separate campaign in the future again using steel faith with another warhammer faction but um any other mod but that doesn't change like difficulty and stuff like graphic mods anything like that oh look at that look carl franz that's him with his black armor that's carl franz with his black armor right there uh, they're gone. That was uh, that was very quick. Okay, be it. Pull back. I'm gonna pull back with everything. Nice little valley we can use by here. What have they pushed up with? Spears. Yeah. Let's get down to this valley. We're gonna fight on our terms in the valley by here. I can actually see what I'm doing then. Let's get the head off for now. Joe, you know I I gotta be honest with you. I think I prefer Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 1 because you can do the Mortal Empires in Warhammer 2. Obviously, you've got to own both games, but I don't know. I think it's not much between them, to be honest, but I, I do find myself leaning towards that. Right, what have we got here? We've got troops coming in the bushes by there. Ben Utterrecher, the swordsman unit, is there. Got spears and swords. Right, my regs guard. Let's get a flank around with the Reichsguard. What's up there? Spears. A lot of spears. A hell of a lot of spears. Two, three. That's all they've got are spears, though. I think. We took up the crossbow. I don't know if they have anything else here. But we're going to go for a little flank with the Reichsguard here. Right, we're going to start firing now. Amazing. That's right. Get your kills. Get your kills in. Right, Carl Franz is going to have to go for the general. You two could just keep shooting on these guys for now, these spears. I want you both on... You're both on skirmish anyway, which is good. Bit of a mess by here. A little bit of a mess. They've caught up with me, so I'm going to have to keep charging up here. Time for a Regsguard charge. And crossbowmen get back. I'm going to go for a Regsguard charge by here. 
we've weakened them a little bit. Downhill charge. Oh, beautiful. That was really beautiful. They are spears, so I don't want to stay in it too long. I don't I'd have to, though. Don't Reichsguard have Terra? No, I thought they had Terra for some reason. I think that's... Um... Okay, you guys... Just halt. You guys just halt. Right. The Reichsguard chasing down. My general's got these guys here. This is going to be a win by here for my friends. It's going to be an easy win, I think. Let's get flanking with you. How far are we from leveling up? Oh, not too far. We might be able to get this battle, actually. Let's get the right guard up there. I'm quite tempted to pull back and let my men just shoot them. Matter of fact, let's do that. Okay. Shoot for me, baby. Shoot for me, baby. In fact, I'm doing this is ridiculous. I want to get some shots away first. They do have armor piercing the uh, handgunners. I think I have armor piercing. Yeah, armor piercing missiles. Guard mode. Gonna guard this by here for me. Gonna hold this line by here. There we go. We're gonna shoot the flanks by here as well. Amazing. That's why I want to use handgunners for. I'm shooting over my handgunners and into the flank by here. The swordsman unit is actually up against the swordsman here. And it's doing quite well against it. The car fans outnumbered by here. So probably best to get my Reichsguard up here. And just to give him a little bit of a hand. Their general is heavily wounded here. He's weak, weakened. Car fans should be okay against him. But I'm just going to send my Reichsguard up there just in case. Oh, that's amazing. I, I love the handgunners. They're ripping them to shreds by here. They, look at them, they're dropping like flies. Absolutely amazing. Just keep shooting into them. Scare as many kills as you guys can. Flank around with the spears. Let's say the two of them finish them off by there. How are we doing up here? guard. Yeah, we've won. Fast forward, we've won this. Playing triple speed. Lovely. Don't have, to f don't have to run them down because we have won the battle and we've won the settlement of Grunberg as well. Ben Uderlicher. 149 kills, so they've already got like 400 kills near enough already. Certainly over 300, so happy with that. 75 this time for Carl Franz. 81 there for the handgunners. They did a really good job there. I'm going to probably get Another couple of them. They're quite good to flank around and shoot into the flanks. That's what I'm going to do with them. We're gaining quite a lot of loot early on. I could sack. I'm going to occupy it, obviously. I want to take the whole province here. I get money anyway for taking it, and I can just rebuild it back up if I need to. And I've got a quest issued here, which I probably won't do just yet. It's the quest of the Battle of Blood Pine Woods. I'm going to do that once I get a full stack. And i got another objective as well. Now, Grunberg's level... Well, it's just a hamlet. Got to try and get up to a village first. Grazing pastures. Do I want that? I don't think I do, actually. Got a port. Let's get rid of that. That's rubbish for me. Don't want that at all. And then Carfranz. Got two more skill points to give you. Ammunition. Okay, steel defense for my swords and spears is going to be good. Make my army a bit better for now. Gonna replenish in here. I'm gonna swing back round now. I'm gonna aim for Helmgart and Eilhart. So in the next episode, guys, I will come around and fight these. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.